So this is where it all started. This is when we bought the Jeep. Uh, this is how it came from the dealership with us doing absolutely no upgrades and we uh, quickly decided to change quite a few things. Uh, so everything that we're showing you here is stuff that we had done on the original Mjolnir um, and most of those things are coming along with us for this new build. Uh, there are going to be a couple of things that we change. Um, we no longer have the hood latches that you'll see, but uh, this is our uh, tactical recovery equipment, winch line and uh, safety thimble and fair lead. All that was saved. The winch is still good. Uh, those are the hood latches that got destroyed in the rollover. The front bumper that you see, it was destroyed. Um, but we've got pretty much all the suspension uh, components are some of those are changing. You can see the uh, rock crawler springs here. They're three and a half inch. We are upgrading those to four and a half inch springs. We did manage to save all this. Uh, the track bar, the drag link, the tie rod, those kind of things are still all good. This is the UD44 with the Artec uh, weld on track bar bracket. Uh, that's still all good. There's nothing wrong with that. So we definitely maintain that. Um, we did pull off the poison spider flares that you see here as well as the brawler rockers. Uh, they may need a little bit of tweaking to be able to get those to go on, but uh, if, if so, we'll, we'll show you some videos on those. But they got gouged up, they got scratched up, but that's what they're meant for is to be beat on. So we're just gonna save those little beauty marks and I'll probably clear over them or something, I don't know. Uh, like I said, the front bumper and the stinger pretty much got destroyed in the rollover. So we are upgrading front bumper. So that's something that you'll see. Uh, the KM3s with the Black Rhino beadlocks that you see here, those are perfectly fine. The rings are chewed all the heck, but uh, that's what those are for as well. Uh, DV8 tire carrier, we managed to save this as well. It's got a small little spot on top where you can see that it hit, uh, but otherwise it's, it's, uh, in, it's in decent shape. Uh, Poison Spider diff cover, that's going on the new Jeep. The skid plates here for control arm shock mount those are going on the new jeep we did have them powder coated uh i bet you can't guess what color uh vector dash bar definitely saved that it saved the ipad in the rollover the ipad somehow did not manage to fall out that was super awesome the uh, apollo intech switch there we've got that one thing that i totally forgot to take off you can see us opening the door here we had those extended door latches so the back doors would open further made it super easy to load and unload stuff no longer have those those are gone hey what's up guys so as you have seen by now and another video i'm sure um yonder 1.0 uh decided to take a nap and he's gone forever but this is the brand new mjolnir severe mjolnir 2.0 um we ended up going and searching and searching and searching to find a Jeep. We wanted something that was stock. We wanted something that was good engine wise. We didn't really care so much about the suspension and all the other whatnots underneath and around it because we are about to just rip everything off <laughs> and replace it with all of the other stuff that we either salvaged from the original Jeep or the stuff that I went and blew money on and bought to add on to this one that we never had on the other one. You guys will get to see all of those goodies. Um, but today is gonna be the first day that we're doing anything with it. Uh, no big plans as of yet. Just uh, trying to get a few small things here and there done. We're gonna be doing the uh, tire carrier, I believe. This is lower mileage than what we had on the original Jeep. This is a 2015, as opposed to being a 2014. Uh, you notice the body color fenders on it. It is a Sahara, so it has a few small upgrades. It's got the booty warmers, so Providence is super happy about that. It's got uh, navigation. However, navigation, for some reason, we don't have any maps, so I'm not too awful concerned about that. It doesn't have the leather seats, but it does have the Sahara stitching. You can see that on the seat there. Uh, it came with a few small little things. It has uh, grab handles inside. We're going to be pulling those out a step. Uh, we're going to be pulling those off and putting our brawler rockers on, so we'll be giving those to somebody. Uh, it has some aftermarket hood latches on it. We've already gotten some other hood latches, the JL hood latches to put on like we did on the other one. So we'll be pulling those latches off. It has this little windscreen bug guard thing. I wanted to rip that off at the dealership and let them throw it away, but Providence wouldn't let me. Uh, it has, I think, 18 inch 
Well, uh, I don't know what it's got. Yeah, it's got 18s. I don't like those either. Obviously, we've got our 37s and bead locks, so we're going to be pulling those off of there. Uh, selling them to somebody for super duper cheap. But yeah, this is the new stock Mjolnir. So we just pulled the spare tire off. Now we're going to pull the janky spare tire carrier off of it because with the 37s, we definitely don't want to be trying to put it on this. Um, it'll just, it's going to rip it off basically. It'll make the tailgate sag. Uh, it'll rattle and break the welds inside and all kinds of crap. So we're going to pull this off. Uh, we've got a spare tire delete that we're going to be putting on there, pulling off these little rubber things here. Uh, we'll show you all, all that whenever we get to it. this pin out to pull this part off here because we want to keep we want to actually keep this arm here and with the tire carrier that we have for the DVA it actually has its own mounting brackets that we'll put on there so uh, just take an angle cutter just chop that off and you'll hammer it out and then uh, put it all back together You can see that bracket is significantly bigger than what the stock one was. Finger right there. So there's the comparison. You're really good at pointing at stuff. <laughs> I really am. From stock to DV8 bracket. Is that actually screwed in there? One of the biggest differences between this build and our first Jeep is that we had a lot of stuff done by a shop or somebody that we knew on the first Jeep, including the tire carrier. So this was our first sort of exposure to doing the tire carrier. Now, Cody, who's here with us, he put his tire carrier on himself, so he had a lot of experience and he knew what to do. So it was really beneficial having somebody with us that knew what was going on, where it went, and who had done it recently. One of the things we noticed once we cut all the holes out in the bolts is that we were actually missing a piece. So you can see here on Cody's Jeep that there is a piece that goes on the inside of the Jeep. We actually had to have it cut so that the piece would fit. And once we were able to do that and get it on the inside, here you can see the final product. It's all done and ready to go. We hope you enjoyed this series, and if you guys like what we're doing, make sure you click that subscribe button, click like, and share with your friends. And until next time, just keep on jeeping. Oh.